Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saint Tarot. Hope everyone's well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. It's time to throw down cards for Leo for the first half of May. I know I'm a few days late. I'm sorry. It's been rough. I'm not going to go too far into it. Um, but yeah, we're here now and we're going to do this because I have two readings to finish the cycle. So I have you and I have Aries and then I have the work week top and bottom and I have one personal left to do. And guys, I gotta take Tarot Tuesday off tomorrow. I'm sorry, I'm just, I need to vegetate and not have to go anywhere or do anything tomorrow. <laughs> it's just it's so rough, oh my gosh, I'm so drained. Anyway. This reading will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the first half of May. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with a message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Leo. It's not supposed to. Just check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings if you haven't already, and maybe those might resonate a little bit better. Who knows? Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa and play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And if you're a cross watcher stopping by to cross watch for Leo, kudos to you. I'm impressed. All right, two, three, three more shuffles. And then we'll get your cards on the table. One. I hear my son calling the cat out in the living room. <clears throat> Pardon me. Leo, why are you here? Page of Cups. Messages of love. It's so cute. We get a little bit of communication coming in. That's nice. I like it. Okay. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Two of swords. Oh. One or the other, or possibly both of you, have a decision to make. And it might not be an easy one. What do you think of them? Karma reversed. Okay. It's judgment card. Mm. Possible comeback around, maybe? I have to throw a clarifier on that. Possibility of a little bit of unfinished business, maybe a return. What do you want from them? Two of Wands. Okay, well, decisions, decisions here. You want them to pick a path, let go of something if they need to let go with it and move forward. Just make a decision, do something. Okay, how do they feel about you? <clears throat> the Five of Wands. Hmm. Combative, confrontational energy. Maybe you guys be squawking back and forth all the time. What do they think of you? Page of Swords in the reverse. They don't see you as a strong communicator. Maybe there's like a little silence thing going on right now. Communication possibly could have been cut off, but that doesn't make sense with the whole message is a love thing yet. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. What do they want from you? The world in reverse. Oh, well, that's where the comeback around comes, doesn't it? Maybe you've been, maybe, ew. maybe they've been sending the messages of love and um, you haven't been sending them back. Okay, possibly. Possibly you're the thing that you want them to let go of. 
what's the obstacle here? Strength. It is the card of Leo. You could be dealing with another Leo. Not necessarily, though. I got a little air. Okay, I got a lot of air. A little fire. A little water. No earth, really, at this point. Oh, the strength card is an obstacle. There could be a lot of polarities in the relationship. You guys could be very different and see things very differently. One of you could be trying to overtake the other. The strength card also represents trust to me because let's face it, this lion who's so docile could literally swallow her whole. And he's just laying there sleeping, just chill. This is trust. Maybe the obstacle's trust. We'll throw a clarifier on in a minute. What needs to be done? Knight of Wands in the reverse. All right, somebody's got to stop playing games. The Knight of Wands in the upright, it's extremely non-committal energy. It comes, it goes, it's in, it's out. It's there, it's gone. You get my drift. If somebody needs to make a decision, what's happening here? What's going on? What are we doing? Do we know what we're doing? Projected outcome. Eight of Wands in the reverse. No forward movement, no communication, nothing's happening. All right, let's get some clarity. Mm, universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity for the cards on the table for Leo, please, for the first half of May? really needs to be clarified, but there's a lot of holes in this story and it's extremely vague. I mean, I want it to be general, but not so general that it could resonate with everybody. I mean, who hasn't been through this, right? Alright, one more. Why do you do all the shuffling if you're just going to let them fly out anyway? Because that's what I do. The universe lines them up and spits them out accordingly. Why is the Two of Swords here? You want to say something, don't you? You do. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, okay. Um... You feel like they have a painful decision to make, possibly that someone's trying to come out of the cold with them. Maybe you want to come out of the cold with them. Maybe you feel left out in the cold after a painful decision. I mean, take it however resonates. Why is karma reversed here? Knight of Swords in the Upright. Oh, that's interesting. Well, they don't appear to be talking to you. Or receiving communication. There's a communication issue, but they definitely know how to find information out. You think they're spying. Because they just know things. Wait, why is the two of wands here?
Ten of Swords flew out. You want the painful cycle to be over. You want the sun to come up again. You just want this to be done. You want them to make a decision. Let go. Move forward. And Why is the Five of Wands here? Hanged Man reversed. Emotionally stuck. Hung up in a bad way. I feel like you're combative, like you're hung up. What are you hung up on? Can I get another card on that place? Why is the hangman reversed here? Hi! Ten of, two of wands in the upright. Well, there it is again. Decisions, letting go, moving forward. And You're marrying each other just enough. But they're feeling like your decision wasn't as painful. Your decision was more necessary or impulsive. Just because someone needed to do something. Okay, why is the Page of Swords reversed here? Eyeball itch. Thank you. Nine of Pentacles reversed. <laughs> Needy? Not talkative. Cut off in communication. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reversed here? That doesn't even make sense. Judgment reversed. They think you're not talking because you possibly have something to hide. And that's why they've been spying, because you've been trying to hide something. Possibly a connection from the past, maybe? That's weird and stuff. Okay, why is the world reversed here? Oh, hi. Hermit reversed. They want to come back around because they feel like they can never heal from this. You, Leo, you were their inner light and now they can't find it. They want the comeback around. They don't want this to end. They feel isolated without you. One more. Five of Cups in the upright.
They want you to feel their pain. Wow. This just got super weird. Apparently, you just want this to end. You want the sun to shine again. You want them to f move forward and make a decision. They feel like you've already moved forward, possibly after an argument. You're not talking to them. They could possibly be the extremely needy one and want this to come back around. They just want this to come back around. They don't want to face the end. Why is strength here? Why is strength here? Hi. <clears throat> Queen of Swords. Oh boy. Queen of Swords on top of a strength card. Okay, so strength, standing one's ground, trust. Someone possibly being cold and icy, but being honest, almost being cruel. One more. King of Swords. Well. being strong, standing your ground, being non-emotional. Possibly the obstacle here is not letting emotions get involved. And this little page of cups child up here sometimes is a little dude. This just happens to be a little girl it looks like. Um, that's emotion. That's a little something. Not a little something something, no I'm saying no. It's a little something. There's definitely the, those little pieces of emotion that still remain. Somebody's in pain, and somebody just wants the other one's pain to end. I have to check something real fast. Oh boy, okay. Knight of Wands reversed. Why is the Knight of Wands reversed here? Oh! That was fast. Got two. Chariot reversed, the sun reversed. What needs to be done? Somebody needs to decide what's going to happen. Somebody needs to decide what they're going to do, whether they're in or they're out. And it's not going to be an easy decision. The sun is not going to shine for a while. This chariot reversed, um, pulled in two different directions, putting distance between you or closing the distance off. One more on that. Why is the chair reversed here? Ace of Wands. Yeah. Somebody needs to do something. not be emotional about it.
this may require a, a last conversation and a little bit of closure. I, I'm getting a sense that somebody got ghosted, possibly. All right, why is the Eight of Wands reversed here for the projected outcome before I get the advice cards? I'm also catching a sense that maybe y'all might want to try something new. Just kind of walk away from this and let it disconnect. Put the distance there and go off and try something new. Eight of Wands reversed. Eight of Wands reversed. No forward movement, no communication. That means I was right. <sighs> okay, let's get your advice, Leo. Okay, well, that was an accident, but apparently the universe wants them on the table. We'll look at them in a second. The Magician and the Ten of Swords in Reverse. <clears throat> you cannot control the actions or the reactions of other people. The only thing you control is you. You can't even manifest the reactions or actions of other people. I mean, some people can, and that's a really cool thing to be able to do, but as a general rule, the only thing you can control is how you react to things. Fair statement. You can't control somebody else's sadness. You can't control somebody else's pace. You can't make the sh sun shine in somebody else's world again for very long. That's kind of like a band-aid situation. And I don't think that's what you want. So work on manifesting your own happiness. And don't worry so much about the other person. For whoever that message is for. The lovers reversed and the hangman reversed. The hangman reversed. Pop back up again. Well, gee... Yes, there is a connection here. It is not mutually felt. Don't stay hung up on how someone feels about you. Don't stay in a connection that is not healthy if you're not feeling it. And I, I that is a hard thing for me to say. But... That's not a strong connection. That's not a healthy one for anybody. And it's not fair either. All right, two more off of that one. Four of Pentacles reversed and the King of Cups reversed. Don't emotionally close yourself off. Don't hold the emotions in. Leo, I've dealt with a lot of Leos in my time. It's something you have a little bit of a tendency to do. Just a little bit. You're not nearly, nearly as bad as Aries or Sag. You're not. But you make it slightly more obvious when you're not happy <laughs> but <clears throat> don't emotionally close yourself off to the situation but don't make decisions based on emotion either all right couple more <laughs> Ace of Swords and the Temperance reversed. Right back to it. If things are not equal, if things are not even, if the energy flow is not positive, do not communicate.
it may be best to go off and have new communication with new people. New things, new situations. Stop beating a dead horse. Seven of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Cups in the upright, Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not sure how this goes with the reading. This might be a special statement for someone who just needs to hear it, so. It's okay to leave your options open, but as far as temptations goes, don't. Don't allow yourself to be tempted just because you're impatient with a relationship. Does that make sense? When you're not getting what you want, it's very easy to stray. Instead of straying, why don't you tell the person what you want? Communicate. Talk about it. Have a healthy conversation. Okay, gang. You guys have been wonderful. I love you guys to death. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist your arm. Hit the notification bell if you want to hear more. I know I'm a lot to take in, <laughs> and that's okay. I get it. But let me know if it resonates. Leave a comment. Send an email. I love emails. I really dig emails. I really do. And if you're in need of a personal reading, um, the Monday after Mother's Day, I will be available for that. So the 11th. Hit me up. We'll talk. I'm going to step out and then I'm going to throw down cards for Aries after about five or ten minutes. So if you're just getting done watching Leo and you want to watch Aries, give me about half hour, 45 minutes. All right. Talk soon.